something horrifying is going on in our world today. You may have noticed it, but the problem is far deeper than we can ever believe. There seems to be a killing spree going on. Our correspondent, Victoria Anderson, has more. Thank you, Brent. In Chicago, so far this year, 108 children have been shot with 16 dead. 108 children shot in one city this year, and the year is not even half over yet. Last year, Chicago ended 2020 with 769 homicides as gun violence surged. It's not Chicago alone. Detroit is now listed as the nation's new most dangerous city. Detroit's violent crime rate is 1,965 incidents per 100,000 residents. There were more than 1.2 million incidents of rape, robbery, aggravated assault, and murder reported in the United States in 2018. This is Victoria Anderson for the Advent Message. Thank you, Victoria. Today, crime kills far more people than armed conflicts. Almost half a million people across the world were killed in homicides, which is far surpassing the 89,000 killed in active armed conflicts and the 19,000 killed in terrorist attacks. For women and girls, the home remains the most dangerous place. Some 58% of female homicides were carried out by intimate partners or family members. And we're seeing increased hate crimes and groups such as the KKK and the Proud Boys are seeing a surge in membership. Friend, this is part of a series called Signposts. We attempt to show how prophecies which herald the soon coming of Christ are being fulfilled. My name is Brent Winfield, and I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, and this is the Advent Message. In Matthew 24, Jesus gave us clear warnings about the end times and his, the sign of his return. He said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Matthew 24, 12. When the love of many has grown cold, the hate of many will then become heated. People are gonna be abusive, disobedient, difficult, treacherous, reckless, brutal, and heartless. And this all leads to violence. Let me give you an example. Technological advances are contributing to the changing nature of conflict. There are concerns about the potential for artificial intelligence or AI and machine learning to enhance cyber, physical, and biological attacks. For example, by making these weapons more finely targeted and easier for individuals to use, these individuals are bent on creating violence. In the world of espionage, the question remains, who are the shadow brokers? The group claiming responsibility for what may be the biggest security breach ever at the NSA, now taunting the country in posts riddled with spelling errors. Recently writing, is NSA chasing shadows? So was the breach the work of foreign hackers or someone on the inside? 
Former NSA analyst Orrin Falkowitz says it's had a chilling effect on NSA staffers. Uh, it puts them under suspicion, it puts the people they work with uh, into question, uh, and it slows the progress of protecting the country. Whoever stole the NSA's cyber weapons then used them to launch ransomware attacks against hospitals, banks, shipping, and drug companies. One online post hints at a Russian connection. Russian security people are becoming Russian hackers at night, but only full moons. The NSA and FBI have taken this breach extremely seriously, but their inability to actually find the root cause is deeply problematic. It means that additional information could be exfiltrated. The damage is said to be among the most severe ever. The FBI's former chief cyber agent in New York. Is the game stacked against the United States government in terms of being able to respond quickly and effectively and put up necessary defenses? The advantage is with the attacker because they have the ability to study a system, find its weaknesses, and find a way inside. It is, say veterans, full-scale cyber warfare requiring both a strong offense and defense. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington. Emerging technologies are lowering the barriers to the acquisition of biological weapons, such as toxic substances or diseases used to harm or kill humans, livestock, and crops. There are concerns that advances in AI and 3D printing could facilitate biological attacks by automating the development and production of the weapons and the systems that develop them. There's also mounting international concern over the development of something called lethal autonomous, autonomous weapons or laws. Weapons and warfare are becoming increasingly sophisticated. The latest battlefield technology is starting to look more like a computer game with wirelessly connected soldiers communicating via sound and vision to drones carrying satellite linked Wi-Fi hotspots and given orders by commanders that could be on the other side of the world. But the weapons of the future won't need soldiers or commanders to operate them because they will be able to make the decision of what or whom to target themselves using artificial intelligence. The Pentagon is spending billions on developing a new generation of lethal autonomous weapons or laws like robotic fighter jets, missiles that decide what to attack and ships that hunt enemy submarines. For now, remote weapons like UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles are directed by humans from the safety of cubicles often hundreds or thousands of miles away from the conflict zone. All of these technological advances are designed to make mass killing quicker, easier, and devoid of human or moral responsibilities. Now, here's what the Word of God has to say on the subject, I quote, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away, Second Timothy 3. Friend, we are indeed in the last days. The extreme violence that is covering this planet like a black plague will only get worse. This is indeed a sure sign of Christ's return. Listen to what the spirit of prophecy says. I'm going to quote her. The four angels are holding the four winds that they shall not blow upon the earth, but human passions are reaching a high pass, and the Spirit of the Lord is being withdrawn from the earth. Were it not that God has commanded angelic agencies to control the satanic agencies that are seeking to break loose and to destroy, there would be no hope. But the winds are to be held until the servants of God are sealed in their foreheads. See Manuscript Releases, Volume 20, page 269. We have been on the verge of World War III a half a dozen times in the last few years. 
there have been a number of provocative incidents sufficient to have started a global war between the United States and Russia. Why have these quarrels not exploded into a hot, hot war? Well, we live in such a dangerous world that the slightest miscue by one country might result in a holocaust that just destroys all mankind. For example, under the surface of the ocean, right? Nuclear powered submarines are moving sly silently ready to fire missiles. And the number of these missiles carry more destructive power than all the bombs dropped by the nations in World War II. And the bombs can come from under the water entirely unexpectedly where none can see or know beforehand from where they will come. Oh friend, Bible prophecies gives us an answer. We learn in Revelation 7, verses 1 to 3, that there are four winds of universal destruction which are being held in check until the seal of God has been placed upon God's followers in their forehead for their protection. Instead of mankind destroying himself, the Bible tells us the destruction of the sinful world will be at the brightness of Jesus' second coming. Listen to this. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Amen. Second Peter 3, 10. Friend, God is waiting to welcome you with open arms in his kingdom. But in the meantime, we are in the dead of night. Violence, in addition to everything else, pervades this planet. And this is a sign of Jesus Christ soon return. Hold fast, do not let go, and may God richly bless you. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, we're grateful that you have given us your word that point out signposts in this sin-sick world that herald your soon coming. We pray that you will bless each and every one of us. Help us to also to mobilize those who are not aware of what's going on. Help us to be wise as serpents, but harmless as doves, as we proclaim the three angels' message. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that's all for today, friend. Thank you for joining me. And always remember, God loves you. Yes, he really, really does love you. Hello, friend. The Advent Message Ministry has been serving the Christian community since 2001. Now, this is a self-supporting ministry that has so far served over 1.5 million video views and over 12,000 YouTube subscribers with God's end time message. Now this is a worldwide ministry and I, Brent Winfield, is the sole producer, editor, and presenter. You can well imagine the ministry takes a lot of time and effort to produce. Please make a donation of any amount to the Advent Message Ministry for the furthering of God's cause. The PayPal link is located immediately below this video. Thank you. Help others to come to realization of God's love and mercy. God bless you.